Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Battle Spire. Sorry, I just saw this guy walking and realized I missed... Oh no, that's the ghost, okay. So it's been a while since I've uh, recorded, because I just started my new job, and it's regular sort of, you know, eight hour, five days a week job, and so it doesn't give me too much time to play, but I'm, uh, I'm still here, still recording, and I've been uh, eagerly waiting to record some more of this. Anyway, let's see if I know where I'm going here. And if I remember the controls. Third time's the charm. There we go. Okay, I'm heading the right way. So yeah, last time we entered into the Soul Cairn. And uh, met some ghosts and skeletons and stuff. And some of the ghosts can be convinced to not kill you, luckily. And, uh, looky here, we have a boat. So yeah, there are actually uh, things you can get in and go around on. Uh, let me check my controls here. That's not the one. I think... Oh, I just had to click on it. And then... Okay. So you just control it kind of like you would do walking. Uh, fortunately, you can't attack or anything while you're on the boat. I believe there might be some stuff underwater that uh, you can find, but I'm not going to up too closely. Anyway. Make sure you uh, park your boat where you can get back into it again, because if you put it too deep in the water, then it's hard to get back in. Uh, how do I exit? See, that's why I wanted to know the controls. Let's see here. Exit vehicle with a V. Okay. Oh. V. Alright. And, uh, let's get this guy to talk to us. And this is the thanks I get. Oh, hello. Betrayed, tortured, sucked dry, murdered. Then, for good measure, they rip out my soul and sit it adrift in this godforsaken hole. Good to meet you, too. Uh, sounds rough. Who's the rat who betrayed you? Those dog-sired Daedra, that's who. And that damn seducer. And that Siren and Gata. If I get my soul suckers into that motherless backstabber, I'll make him a hot, empty husk. Yeah, I think we've heard of Siren before. He uh, betrayed the Battle Spire, and that's how the Daedra were able to get in. Sorry, son of my fair, that they helped me to stay out of my way. So the Daedra betrayed you, I see. That's really terrible. I hate it when that happens. Go ahead, tell me all the details. Well, I realize that it's risky dealing with Daedra, but that seducer. Well, let's just say it might not be eight heavens, but it's all right. And then God promised he'd set me up like a wounded survivor, a hero. Excuse me, Engada? Should I know that name? Spirit Engada? No, perhaps not. A leechcraft, a retainer of Jagerthorn, the Emperor's battle mage. He set it all up. I open the gate for the prince, he comes in, cleans up the battle spire, and I just barely managed to escape with my life, bringing the tragic news to the Emperor and Tharn. I'm a big hero. A personal retainer of Jagerthorn, close to the Emperor and his family. In time, I get my own province, a great deal. And I deliver. But the scum cheated me. So you're part of the betrayal, too. Sounds like a sweet deal. Don't blame you. I probably have done the same thing. If I were a sneaking lying craven traitor, I'm going to rip your ethereal... Uh, ethereal limb from limb. Uh, that really stings me. I hate it when a guy wish well she's on a deal. Like, what does this and got a guy look like? If you want, I'll look him up and give him a good thrashing for you. Yeah, let's stay on this guy's good side. That's generous of you. But this Angada has a special transmorph spell. So he can look like anyone. Angada was posing as Womagan Mary, the Emperor's personal liaison to the Battle Spire, when the Daedra took the place. But he, or she, could look like anyone by now. I appreciate your help, but you might want to run away now because I feel the hungry madness coming on again, and I'm not much fun to be around! Thanks for the warning, good luck, maybe I'll see you around, goodbye. And uh, let me save the game in my danger spot because I think he's going to attack me. Can I? Oh, I don't want to be dunked into the water. Hey, out of my way! Eh, that's exactly what I didn't want. Come on. <laughs> oh well, it wasn't too bad. Oh, there we 
Can I kill him? Uh, maybe I don't want to and I'm damaging my sword. Yeah, let's just load and not worry about him. Oh, come on, dude. Anyway, lots of potions. Restoration. Etherealness. What does this school say? So much for the disguise. One of the big ones caught me sneaking around and ripped into me. I knocked him through his hat, but he mussed my garments in a most thorough fashion. I think they may be on the lookout now. Be careful. I'm depending on silent feet and shadow spells now. You'll need two amulets to get past the warding sigils. I left an extra one here on the dock. I found the gate many rooms on. Past the graveyard, but don't know how the gate works. I'll hang around and slip through with the next courier. If I can leave the gate open, you're golden. If not, you're on your own. Maybe there's an inscription manual hidden around somewhere. Stay away from the wraiths. I can't even scratch one. The big Daedra are tough, but dumb. Either way, I don't know, I don't know spells or can't cast them worth a damn. Next is a place called Shade Perilous. It's a Daedra stronghold, not one of the Dagon holds, but a nocturnal domain. Makes no sense to me. Dagon and nocturnal are supposed to hate each other, but we'll see soon enough. Keep it coming, Batasha, our good friend. Let's do that. And what's in the chest? Alright. Let's keep that. And there's still some potions here. Cure health. Okay, why isn't it the other one showing up? Cure health. I always like those, especially in this dungeon. Am I even in the place I want to be? Grieve, potion of pure health. Let me check something. Oh, I'm over here. I wanted to be over here. Oh well. Dude, come on. Uh, anything else? No. Back in the boat. And the boat's gone. Well, I guess we're going swimming. Oh crap. I have too much stuff. Oh, there is something down here. Iron boots. Okay. Don't know where my boat went. Wait, can I even get out of here without the boat? Maybe I can probably jump this. Alright. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I'm going to have to reload. Let's try it from up here. Oh, crap. Okay, let me reload. Okay, I made it on. I, I restored, but the boat was still gone. Luckily, we don't have to be here again. There is a coffer of restoration below the dock I found, but... Uh, oh, well. Uh, Anyway, where I actually wanted to be, let's see, so I want to turn right, and then go down here. Oh well, I guess it didn't matter which order we did that in, and I don't have to go back there. And I do want to save here. Especially since I made it back onto that. It was kind of hard trying to jump at that angle. Don't know why. Ow. Hey, come back. Oh, come on. Seriously, dude? There we go. Way a sigil of entry, another one. Alright. Iron Gauntlet of Swiftness. What would that do? Let's check the old thing here. Uh, stores renders the power running, so I guess that could be good for going fast. Let's see if it'll fit. It will, but nothing else will. Well, I don't need. Well, I could use that. Yeah, I know a part. This is specifically where I could use that. Uh, need to really organize this stuff. Frosty Ward. Let's see, what am I wearing? I can't 
Magnificent. What is Arcane Side again? Maybe I just don't need that. I think it was the one I just put on because I didn't need anything else. Let's see. Let's build up Detect Spell. I really don't think I need that, so let me get rid of that. Oh wait, not you. Get rid of this. Let's put on Frosty Ward just in case there are ice enemies I need to be aware of. Let's see. Spell Reflection, why not? Any enemies in here? Oh, there's this guy. So let's talk to him. Matt is a loon. And let's take a look around. Let's see, cure health. What's in here? Iron helmet. Let's see, where was that? Wasn't this one, was it? Nope, this one has invisibility. Why not? And what's in here? So dark, dirty, cold, this place to stay you would refrain. This will occupy this place. Never do complain. Hmm, what or what could that be referring to? If I do recall, there was a plaque we read that had the answer to that. And the answer, of course, is grave. I think that's the chest that we were looking at before, maybe, accidentally. Oh no, Assured Red Wisdom. The heck is Red Wisdom? Sounds familiar. I've probably looked at it before. Red Wisdom increases the destruction skill. Do not need. Well, what pants am I wearing right now? The Broad Force? Yeah, okay. And what's that in there? Looks like a healing gem, but really... Who disturbs our rest? If only we're a healing gem, but no, we don't have any healing gems in this level. Uh, humble Moral who begs you aid, Master of Martial Arts. Uh, Humble Moral who begs you aid. You are not invited here. Why do you disturb our rest? Not sure, seems to be stuck here. Someone who can help me out. Yeah. Would you enter our service, mortal? Surprised and honored by your prospect. But I'm curious how much I enter your service. Put off your mortal garments and stand naked in the spirit. Your stained tablet must first be washed white by the fires of mana. Sounds very nice. And how do I go about getting my tablet Seek washed? Seek the twin fingers of life in the chapel of love. Stand upon the pedestal and bathe yourself in the mana beams. The corruption of the flesh shall fall away and the spirit shall be revealed in its glory. Then may you stand before us and serve for eternity in peace and joy. Hmm. It's really a glorious miracle. I must ponder its Unless mysteries. you join our service, we offer you no aid. Affairs of mortals are not our concern. Each mote of mana spent diminishes our eternity. Go and trouble me no more, but you speak with our brethren who perhaps better recall wearing flesh and who may look more generously upon your request. I shall certainly be happy to speak with any of your more generous brethren. Lots of you talking crystals floating in coffins around here, I take it. Dandy, I sure hope they are much more generous than you are, but thank you for your patience and goodbye. That's interesting, okay. Well then, let's see, let's take a look around here some more. Look here, we say something's improved with death, what stinks when living, but dead smells good? Hmm, that is pig, because bacon is awesome. I don't think pigs smell too bad when they're alive. Let's see. What are you? Assured green wisdom, that's just gonna augment more magic that I don't need. Are you gonna be the same Who thing? Disturbs our rest. Uh Yeah, it's gonna be the same thing. So let's not pay attention to that. Alright. 
And luckily this one didn't need a riddle. Just has another one of those weird floating crystal things. An unknown wisdom, no thanks. See, but before you leave, there's something around here. Oh, where is it? Where is this thing? Should be... Oh, here we go. So you see this weird thing right here? You want to take this. Make sure to take the rod of the pilot. It can be very easy to miss, which I was even looking for it and I missed it. Alright, where am I going next? Normally I'd go to uh, that boat place next, but we already did that. So let's see. Alright, no problem. Okay. And they do sure have some strange designs for this place. I mean, what's even the purpose of this, like, area here? I don't know. I just don't know. Yes, yes, hello. So I believe I do want to go north. Uh, let me say it first. I can do 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 uh, can I kill you please? So you don't kill me? Come here. This guy will get you. Or not. Hey, stop! What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Do I need to get my bow out? There we go. And you didn't even give us anything. Great. See, oh, you're just a regular ghost, so I can kill you. Come here. Oh, this is making me sick. Okay. Hey. Hey. Really? Oh my gosh, why are these things just, like, running from me? I'll let the Wraith kill it, whatever. Alright, so I can get through there. But I want to come up here first. Your health. Large chest. Steel boot, do not need. And nothing. I guess there are two chests on top of each other here, okay. Uh, let's see. Let me double check where I want to go here. That is Loon. Listen carefully. We came to look. And he stops. Okay. I just want to look around. Haha! -ha. There's another one of these things. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Where am I even going? Let me save again. I'm putting it kind of safe this time. Let's see, am I even in the right place? I believe I am. Actually, there's something I want to do first. So, uh, let's actually turn around. See what's beyond here. I am Pauldron of the Potent... Kin. What is potent kin? Unknown function, so it's useless. 
Spirit Vault. Unknown function also. Great. Is there anything interesting in here? Let's see. The Shield Biter. It's a Dwarven Gauntlet too. Let's see. Unknown function. Great. <laughs> well, what are we wearing right now? Elven Gauntlet. Elven Gauntlets are better than Dwarven, so let's keep that. Iron boot. Useless. How about these boots? Anything good? Hot Gleaning. The heck? It's not even on the thing. Let's see if Gleaning is anywhere. Nope, it's not even here, so, uh, not gonna do it, I believe, yeah. So this place is pretty useless. I mean, I guess the Dwarven Gauntlets are okay, but uh, I would have something better. Pants, armbands, armbands, uh, da, da, da. What the? I have to jump up there? Okay, that's weird. Whatever. Let's talk to this guy when he approaches us, because I'm not going to go chasing after him. I want you. Come on. What? Didn't have that dialogue option. I want you. Come on. Uh, uh. Oh, he's hurting me bad. Me your little... Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, it can be frustrating when that option doesn't pop up and they just keep hitting you and hitting you. Alright. Teleport. What? Oh, you're just a... Are you that same ghost before that keeps running from me? There, jeez, jerk. But they, the other guy had gotten you. Hmm. Profit, no profit, we pass empty handed into the light. Okay. Done and do, and we'll do the gentle flowers of the sun doth triumph for the grave. I think these are just like random little things, and then I'm not gonna look at them because they're not funny. It's not like uh, King's Quest 4. Cape of the Greater Vigil. Maybe that will be better than the cape I have now. Greater Vigil. It's a spell of medium shield. Ooh. Let's see. Can I put it on? Can't carry any more stuff. Gosh darn it. Oh boy. Let's see. There's a lesser vigil here. Single hewing. Travel. Hmm. I'll get rid of the silver gauntlet. I was saving that just in case my other gauntlets. Oh, come on! Oh, I may need to heal up. Let me go up here. Let's see about using one of my potions. Not you. Open up, there we go. Restoration, cure poison, jumping, spell absorption, visibility, spell reflection, shield, cure poison, teleport, water breathing, cure health, there we go. Now I'm saving my danger spot. And let's kill this thing. Hello? Hey. Ah, oh, that guy's helping me. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, come on. Let's 
stuff is too heavy. Alright, where am I headed off to next? This way now. Cure health. Well, I need cure health, so uh, I throw away. I'll school of cure poison. You already oh, I guess this just teaches you spell, and since I already had the spell, I don't need that. Uh, what else can I? Entry. I don't think I'll need that anymore. But uh, I'll remember that there's a sigil there just in case I actually do need it. Alright, let's see. So you notice there's a lot more of these lights with the rod that could be around here somewhere. Aha, see this one that's kind of off color? gonna have to kill you. Hey, come here! Ugh. Enemies are being super annoying. Like, you ever have that sibling that will, like, slap you and run away, like, when you're not looking? Alright. And the ghost was actually carrying stuff. Pants of the Mono Ward? Uh, Leave if we use this thing or not. Hmm. Then wrong button. Okay, I want to actually head this way then. What was the sight my eyes were giving when I saw the dead carrying the living? It's a very interesting question. So, that would actually be... Boat. Alright, and there's gonna be another one of those crystal guys that I'm not even gonna bother talking to. Armbands of Assured Silver Wisdom, more, jeez, all these coffins have, like, magic enhancing stuff that I just do not need. Alright, what do we have in here? Shirt, pants, armbands, armbands. Hmm. Well, let's... Take a look here. Is there something? Looks like there's something on top of that, but I might be hallucinating. Let's see. Geez, I can't even see inside the freaking thing. Can I, like, do it through? Am I gonna have to, like, jump on top of this thing? That works. Golden Wisdom, Unseen Wisdom. Maybe you're worth talking to. Who disturbs our rest? Ideal Master. See, it dedicated... You are not invited here. Why do you disturb our rest? Hmm. I'm not sure we actually seem to be stuck here. I have poor desperate creature of flesh that chosen contest with the Prince of Oblivion and their minions, and I humbly seek your aid. Would you enter our service, mortal? Let's you see. must die and be born again. The form your spirit may take afterwards fairies. You have seen the servants of our realm. I'm amazed this thing is a, of great wonder. Excuse me while I withdraw now. You mean I die and become a walking skeleton or a howling ghost? If that's how it works, then I'm not joining your Perhaps service. Perhaps you can explain why we would wish to lavish our favors on one so churlish as to refuse us service. 
Daedra had invaded the Battle Spire, the War College, and Celestial Citadel of my, empire, of the, my Emperor. They have slain its guards and mages, looted its libraries and armories, and despoiled its arts and treasures. And how would this possibly interest me? They who invaded the Battlespire are here destroying your servants and plundering your treasure. They clearly plan to hold this place as a way station between their own realms and their newly conquered domains. I doubt you would welcome the traffic or the quality of guests that might travel this way. Yes, I take your point. I would not wish to stand between you and your vengeance upon these Daedric marauders. Very well. Listen carefully. I hear and mark your words. Look carefully at the pillars which support our halls. Around some of these pillars are four bars. If you look closely, you will see that most are square in cross-section. Three of these are exceptional, round in cross-section. One is found in a coffin chapel. Another is found in the room with whirling discs. Yet another is found in the antechamber to the Chapel of Love. These three rods are the control rods for the mana font in the Chapel of Love. Yeah, so you wouldn't know about this before. That's why it's uh, kind of hard to find until you're actually looking for it. Now let me sh make sure I have this straight. Most of the bars are around pillars of square and cross section. Three are different and round in cross section. These are control rods for a monophont and the Chapel of Love. That is, is that correct? Is this the Chapel of is La Chapel of Love nearby? How will I recognize the monophont? The Chapel of Love is close by to the southwest. Seek the twin fingers of life, which you must first kindle. All right. Step one: kindle the fingers of life in the Chapel of Love. Then step into the pool before the Emerald Gates, and you will be transported to the top of the vault. All right. Step two: jump into the pool and teleport to the top of the vault. Then take the three rods. The rod of the pilot, the rod of the pillar, and the rod of the passage, and place each one by one into the socket in the pedestal. Step three, three rods go in the socket in the pedestal. Then the mana font will send you to any of the known outer realms, provided only that you know the name of that realm and that you speak that name at the emerald gates of the vault. It encloses the portal. And finally, step four, speak the name of the destination at the Emerald Gates. You do know the name of the realm you seek, don't you? I actually do. Uh, yes, I know where I'm going. Thank you for your help. I'm in your debt farewell. I actually forgot. It was like some sort of weird name, but uh, we did get that from Vatasha's letter. So we definitely had to read that. Right, so we are almost done with this place. Now, one moment here while I check my map. Alright, sorry for the weird skip. I had to reload several times because some stupid little spot down there keeps getting me, like, the character stuck to where I can't move at all. It's really frustrating. Okay. So let's take a look here. Oh, to be down here with that. Oh, lots of enemies to kill here. And I should probably not open up that, but I use one of my sigils here. Not that one, I can't use that one. Alright, cast your magic, please. Alright, that worked. Oh, there are a lot of these guys around here. Let me just get in this spot and try to get them over one by one. Alright, come closer. Jeez, there's another one? Come on! Luckily, there is like such an awkward spot that they can't really attack me. Like, the AI doesn't quite know what to do. <laughs> if I can just come on, just run around like crazy. All right, two left. One left. Dude, come here. Oh, these enemies. It's 
All right, they are all dead. Ooh, cape. Well, I'm about to have Imperial Green Wisdom, Masterful Fleetness. And of course, it doesn't fit. So I'll just leave that alone. Yeah, lots of stuff to explore around this final little area here. Still pauldron. Hmm, then what are you? Whatever it is, we want to activate that. And let's explore little baskets of goodies here. Okay, my helmet. Yeah, I'm playing this the uh, day before uh, Easter, so uh, baskets are appropriate. Let's see. Don't want this one because it has less AC. What about you? Iron spear, pants of the broad force. Hmm, what am I wearing now? I'm already wearing pants of broad force, so no need for another one. Another sigil. Another sigil that I can't fit anymore. I'm doing a lot better because I, I remember like uh, situations like that being a lot tougher the first time I played. Is there anything in this area to pick up? No? Yeah, but that's the teleporter we need to use. Hmm, but what do we do now? It has not yet been activated. put these bars somewhere. Let's see, I've activated that. Do these need to be activated? No. I've activated that one. Now where do we insert these rods? One second, let me check my map here. Rods. Oh! Well then, I had to step onto that little thing there. Alright. The rod has been placed. Okay, have I set all of them yet? Did this thing- oh, there's potions over here. Cure health. Your health. I know this thing hurts me. Nope. So I think I set them all in. Actually, let me check my inventory. Yeah, they're gone, so uh, everything should be in place now. Uh, before I do this, so I'm going to save my game at the end level. Save. Because remember, you want to have a game saved at the uh, end of the last level and keep it there. Still no. I had all the rods. <sighs> what am I doing wrong here? Alright, I know what happened. After I had to reload my save before, I forgot to pick up that uh, third rod again. So no problem. The gate is open. Easy peasy. So once more to save in my end level spot. All right, so shade perilous is where we want to go. So yeah, that uh, note from Latasha is necessary. Well, you don't actually have to read it to know the answer, but uh, it's what supposed to give you the answer. So yeah, that's the end of level 3. And we can now increase some more stuff here. Uh, let me check something. No? Okay. Let's see. Do some more in agility and some more in strength. Uh, a little bit more in agility just to make sure I can lend those hits. A little bit more strength to carry more stuff. Maybe a couple more in speed, why not? And then... Yep, that's it. That looks good.
But yeah, if I uh, need to go and redo those stats, I can because I have the end level thing there. Not that I think I'll have to. Even though this next level is very, very hard. This is the level that nearly made me quit my whole save file and start up brand new. Um, but I think we're okay. We should be fine. So, we're on this, uh, damp, dank dungeon here. In Shade Perilous, what will we find? Well, you just got to find out next time on Let's Play Battlespire. Thank you for watching and have a good day.